So how cheap or expensive are groceries in the Ukraine compared to your home country? What do Ukrainian supermarkets look like? What kind of products do they have? And are there any specialty weird products that you absolutely have to try if going into a Ukrainian supermarket? Keep watching to find out. And if you're generally interested about expat lifestyle in Ukraine, as told by an expat, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know every time when I'm posting new content. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena and I've been living in Ukraine for the last two years. My blog is called Expats and Plants because as you can see by my background, I really love plants in my apartment and I also love the expat lifestyle. So there's that. Today I'm planning to go to the supermarket. I have to buy actually a lot of stuff. So I thought, wouldn't it be a wonderful idea if I took you along for the ride, show you the supermarket, show you the products. So you can kind of judge by yourself whether you think groceries in the Ukraine are more expensive or cheaper than in your home country. I'll be taking you to one of my uh, most favorite supermarket chain, a Ukrainian one at that. It's called Silpo. They have around 300 stores all over Ukraine. Plot twist, I'll be taking you to the delicatessen store, so Les Silpo, which are only around four in all of the Ukraine. So the difference is they have more high quality products and they have a wide selection of cheeses and cold meats and salads and cooked food that you can choose from. I think this will be a rather interesting and exciting experience. So let's go. We are very big milk drinkers because uh, we do cappuccinos every morning. So I'm just gonna take a milk. Usually we drink around two liters per, per week. This one is only a liter and it's 44 hryvnias. But there are also cheaper types of milk like one liter cost 29 hryvnias. So you can choose something cheaper if you want to. Yeah, I think 27, 28 is more the norm. This is um, organic milk. Do I want organic? No, I'll just go for the regular one. I'll just go for this one and then kefir. Uh, for those of you who don't know, kefir is a special fermented milk drink. Very popular in Eastern Europe. Truly recommend, especially if you have an upset tummy. Eggs, an essential uh, part of the diet, I think in almost every home. So 10 eggs are 41 hryvnias. There are a little bit of more expensive eggs, up to 44 hryvnias, but I see that, yeah, for 10 eggs, it seems like around 40 hryvnias is the norm. So we'll take one. This is a place where we usually get the cheeses. We love gorgonzola. It's 99 hryvnias for this package. There are 150 grams. Oh, and we also like brie. Uh, this is 299 hryvnias per kg. So this piece would be around 100 hryvnias. Should we get one? Are you in the mood for? No. Eugene says no and I put it back. So we have a portion of what I think is parmigiano. Yeah, parmigiano reggiano. And it's uh, 153 hryvnias for 154 grams. Let's have a look at the other cheeses that they have here because they have a really wide selection. There are cheaper varieties, there are more expensive varieties. So they have different sizes of uh, mozzarella and this is the burrata. Uh, it's uh, 69 or 110 for 100 grams. So yeah, all the prices are uh, for 100 grams. Oh yeah. Different specialties and some uh, meats, some cold cuts. Oh yeah, one of the things that I really like is sala. That's just lard, the, the white thing that you see here. Uh, I think we should get some, and it's 30 hryvnias for 100 grams. Can you please get sala, this white one that you have? 150 grams. With a knife? 129 hryvnias per kg of duck. Also, we have some rabbit. This is more expensive, 219 uh, per kg. Chicken wings, uh, 80 hryvnias, 79.99. Turkey fillet, <laughs> turkey fillet, 
is a whooping 389 rivnas per uh, kg. This is pretty expensive, but then turkey is an expensive bird, so. Odessa is a seaport, so obviously there is a huge choice of fish, which I absolutely love. Here you can see some sort of fresh fish, but mostly uh, they are preserved fishes or smoked fishes or salted fishes. <laughs> I think we will get some tuna. Uh, so tuna marinated is 60, uh, 60 grivnias for 100 grams. We usually fry it with rice. And another specialty I think of Odessan cuisine are the anchos or uh, tulichka, how we call it here. It's 33 grivnias for 100 grams. Um, and then also we get the um, uh, silotka or skumbria. <laughs> uh, this is a fermented fish, um, which I absolutely love. If you're in Ukraine, you have to try it. It's 13 uh, grivnias, 90, so 14 grivnias for 100 grams. Salmon starts with 33 grivnias for 100 grams for really smaller pieces and goes up to 85 grivnias for, one, no, 89, no, 135 grivnias for the more expensive varieties. Um, we get the one for 79.90. I believe it's really good in quality. Let's have a look. We usually take this kind of bread. This is Baradinsky chleb, uh, which is a Eastern European specialty. It's priced 18.59, but also there are like cheaper types of bread, 15, 16, 19, 20 grivnias. Uh, so that is the price for regular bread. And let's have a look at the breads uh, that they are their specialty that they bake here. We usually get this one for 30 grivnias. It's around 400 grams and you can have it sliced in the store. They also have their uh, section with homemade pasta and actually it's not that expensive. Sometimes it's even cheaper than the one that you get you know, from other producers. Like for example, this one, and this is okay for two people to eat at lunch, is 13 grivnias for uh, 132 um, grams. And they also have the ones with beetroot and the ones with spinach. I really like the ones with spinach, so I'll just take a package. Their desserts are to die for. Just look, look at this beautiful, juicy desserts. I love them. What we get is usually baklava. This is a Turkish dessert originally, and it's 40 grivnias for uh, 100 grams. And this much of dessert costed us 100 grivnias. I'm thinking of taking this one. This looks like tiramisu, uh, and it's 39 grivnias. And another favorite of ours is the jelly. They have amazing jellies. Also 33 grivnias, and maybe, Maybe a cheesecake with uh, black blackberries or blueberries. I'm not sure what the fruit is. Uh, 39 grivnias. So cashew uh, salty and fried is 190 grivnias for 234 grams. And the other thing that we get are almonds, um, 109 grivnias for 200 grams. So the almonds are significantly cheaper in price. Among the most expensive nuts, I guess, um, are the macadamia. I love them, but they are really expensive. So 160 grams are 344. Uh, we get them once in a while, but you know, given how expensive they are, I would pass on them today. One of the things that I would definitely recommend you get when in Eastern Europe, if given the occasions, are this crepes with poppy seeds. I know it sounds a little bit wild. Um, they are called Mlinci's uh, Makam. They are so, so, so delicious. And yes, they are absolutely legal <laughs> in Ukraine, so don't make any drug references, please. And my number two place are this um, crepes with cottage cheese. I know that cottage cheese is something that not a lot of people like, but it's very popular in Ukraine. Potatoes are 16, 17 grivnias, and uh, the... Ah, I say 16, okay. 17, okay. Yeah, it's 17 grivnias for the potatoes and 20 grivnias for, uh, for the chicken. So the, <laughs> the price is not very different. I'm actually shocked. I thought the potatoes would be less uh, expensive than this. Спасибо вам. There is a wide variety of salads. 
Um, I think most of the things would seem familiar, but things get interesting when we move to like the, the boiled salads, not the fresh ones. Uh, something that I would recommend is Asiledits um, pod shubai, Siredka pod shubai. You know the purple thing that you see here? There is almost none left, is because it's so popular with the people here. It's boiled vegetables, a lot of mayo, and then the salted fish that I told you about previously. We love avocados, but they're pretty expensive. So now we are gonna buy it from here. It costs 99 grivnias per avocado, uh, but it is cheaper to get it from the vendors on the street. You can get the same brand, the same avocado for maybe 65, 70 grivnias per piece. Let's see what else. Uh, tomatoes are, let's find the cheapest tomatoes. Um, 51 grivnias. Yeah, 51 grivnias per kg. That's a little bit on the expensive side. And cucumbers, the cheaper, the cheapest cucumbers are 84, 73, 73. Yeah, I think that's also a little bit exaggerated. So looking at those potatoes, they are around 25 grivnias for kg. Um, what else is there? Carrot is 14 grivnias per kg and onions, seven grivnias. Bell pepper is 124 per kg, but bell pepper is universally expensive. The Eastern European radish is 40 grivnias, it's delicious, it's a spring vegetable here. 500 grams of uh, champignons are 55 grivnias. So parsley is 18 grivnias for this um, for this piece. Dill is 18. Salad, the green one, is also 18. Some of the apples that we usually take are the Simirenko ones. They're very similar to Granny Smith, so juicy and sour. And this is uh, 40 grivnias for a kg of apples. And the other apples that we are gonna take is something uh, sweet and juicy. This is called Champion and it's 35 grivnias for kg. We're also getting three lemons for uh, the tea that we drink. Eastern Europeans drink tea with lemon and one lime with guacamole. Спасибо. So let's see how much it costed. So the lemon is 39 uh, grivnias for kg. Three lemons are 11 grivnias and the Lime is almost 9 grivnias and it's much more expensive. It's 109 grivnias for a kg. And this pineapple is 109 per kg. You can find all sorts of exotic fruits here from blueberries to kumquats to mangosteen to strawberries that are our season, uh, feihua, everything that you want. But it is rather expensive and that's why we don't try, we are not buying fruits out of season. We are trying not to buy fruits out of season. Some mangoes, some longan, watermelon, melon. <laughs> yeah, you can find anything here. I don't even know what this fruit is, granadilla. 109, 19 grivnias for a piece. I'm just gonna put it back, yeah, no, it's uh, too expensive. Pears are 164, yeah. No, uh, we will, we will get, oh, this is the fruit that I wanna tell you about. So if ever in Ukraine or in Eastern Europe, try to get it, the English name is Queens. Uh, it's kind of, um, you know, slightly sour, slightly sweet kind of fruit that leaves your mouth a little bit numb, but I love it so much. And it's usually an autumn fruit. It appears in late autumn, but yeah, don't think we'll be getting this too expensive. Okay, we'll get the bananas instead. 35 grivnias, 37 grivnias per kg. Dobre. When in Ukraine, try to taste some of the Ukrainian preserves. The typical ones are the uh, sauerkraut or the um, cabbage preserve, 900 grams for 52 grivnias. And also preserved tomatoes. 
So this small package is 30 grivnas for uh, fermented salted tomatoes, really good ones. And uh, the cucumber pickles, 500 grams, uh, 64, no, 44 grivnas. Here we go. Am I the only one who's fascinated with preserves? I hope not. Uh, some of the preserves that I really think you should try in Eastern Europe are the really weird ones. This is eggplant with uh, carrot, 994, 100 grams. Um, this is bell pepper with, I think this is um, white cabbage and carrot inside. Um, green tomatoes, delicious, very, very juicy. I love that. And this one is plum. Can you imagine marinated plum? Um, for comparison, a bottle of gin, one liter, is 714 grivnas. I'm actually curious, how much does it cost in your country? Champagnes and bubbly when in Ukraine. I think it makes sense to buy Ukrainian uh, champagne, Ukrainian bubbly. And it's also the cheapest one, obviously. Um, when we're combining it in a cocktail, we usually get, I think, this one. Um, yeah, nope. Let me, oh, this is the one. So uh, a classic bottle is 109 grivnas. This is actually from Odessa and it's brewed, so it's not sweet at all. I would say support the local producer. <laughs> That's what we've been doing. So that's all that I wanted to tell you about grocery shopping in the Ukraine. Here are some other interesting videos that you would probably enjoy watching if you enjoyed this one. And talking about that, if you enjoyed this one, please like it and comment and tell me what are the costs in your country for groceries compared to Ukraine. If you enjoy my channel, please subscribe to it. I post this kind of content every week or I try to. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching.